Well, hey guys, uh, today is October 24th, and I am at Crazy Town. We got here yesterday. Chris kind of uh, called me up Sunday, asked if I wanted to try and get out for a night or two, and so I thought to myself, self, go, go out. You know, let's let's end the season with a bang out on the trip instead of, you know, at home. Um, so here we are. Yeah, so we got out here yesterday. Chris and I did. Uh, he's got his son with him. And Wayne came out and Chuck came out. And so it's uh, the five of us that are out here. And last night we had we had a pretty decent night. Um, nothing, how, how do I say this? Nothing way off the charts. Um, but we had, uh, twinkle lights. Well, somebody's strolling in here. You're at the end of the road, dude. Just somebody touring through on a on a little bike happens here once in a while, but uh, yeah, you know. So you know, we had the twinkle lights last night, and and we had all gotten a zap or two at one point or another. Um, see my tent sitting there, and the green chair and blue chair that's sitting there back in the that. Uh, tree line over there uh, several times we got uh, eye glow from over there and, and there's a lot of stuff happening up on the hill behind me I didn't I wasn't looking that way because the direction I'm sitting but they were seeing all kinds of movement up up in there uh, the direction I am facing which is uh, to the north uh, a lot of activity over there as well um, uh, we all, uh, had sightings, uh, you know, nothing, nothing real big, but, uh, you know, um, dark masses moving around, you know, it was, it was the best we could tell. Um, we were under a half a moon last night. And, uh, you know, at one point, here, I'm going to turn this around just for a second. Okay, you see this tree that's in front of my truck, and then this tree that's in front of Chuck's van that's back there. So this opening, and in the background, in the center, there's a uh, sycamore tree, and... Uh, From Chuck's van to the sycamore tree and back and forth and back and forth was seeing a lot of movement back over there. But at one point, and I couldn't tell where it was at, um, I would have guessed it was, you know, between that tree and Chuck's van was this swirling mass, um, like vortex is about the best way I can put it. Um, sorry about that, but, uh, you know, a couple of us could kind of see it, and so we decided to walk over there. Well, I got to, got about equal to that pine tree that's this side of my truck, and I kind of got a little vertigo. And it's like the ground had just stretched out in front of me like a hundred feet. Um, made me real dizzy. And, uh, you know, so I just kind of stopped right there. And the rest of the guys, they wanted to walk down there farther. And I was like, all right, let's go. And I tried to take another step and I got real weak in the knees and, and you know, kind of dropped down to one knee you know, health-wise, it was doing fine. Um, it was just, uh, it was almost like my MS was kicking in and lost all the strength in my legs. And, uh, you know, 
for whatever reason, I wasn't supposed to go past that tree. So I, I just kind of stayed right there and then everybody came back and, and we hung out around here and, and I don't know, it was about 9.30ish, uh, went to bed and I didn't sleep real well last night, you know, so I went in and took a nap today and, and that's what I just got up from. So I'm feeling a little refreshed. Um, you know, that's, it's hard to keep in my head in the game with, with knowing some of the, you know, a lot of the stuff that we face right now, not just we, but the world and, you know, it, it's not looking good. Um, Maybe I'll I'll save that for another video, um, but you know everybody out there, you know you you should you should get food supplies, water supplies, medical supplies, you know not just because of what's going on, but you know anything can happen. You know it could suffer earthquakes and major hurricanes, and you know, you know you just never know what situation is going to arrive, um, that food storage, water storage, you know, medical storage will come in handy. Um, you know, I, I personally believe everybody should have at least a three month supply of all, all three of those. Um, it, it would beho behoove you to, uh, you know, you got auto insurance, you got life insurance, you got medical insurance, you know, you got homeowner's insurance. Why not have a little bit of life and, you know, survival insurance is the way I sh I'll put that. Um, we're in a time we've never seen before, so enough on that. Um. As always, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for wasting your time with me. <laughs> um, but please, please stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Pay attention to your surroundings. Be good to yourselves. Be good to all those around you. Peace out.